Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So this week we're carrying on from where we left off last week with our Ista Breeze wind turbine on a budget project. We're going to talk about how you can save money by building a mast yourself. We're going to talk about the type of wiring that you need, how much it costs and where to get it. And then finally we're going to finish the video off by actually getting the turbine up into the air. I'm really excited, so let's get into it. When it comes to the mast for the turbine, Istabri supply a ready-made mast which is 4 metres tall at a cost of 276 quid. Extension pieces can be bought, each one being 1 metre long at an additional cost of 50 to 70 euros per piece, putting the total cost of a 6 metre ready-made mast somewhere around 400 quid. We went to the builders providers, we bought 3 lengths of 42mm diameter tube steel with a 3mm thick wall, seam welded them all together strengthening the structure. We made the end collar from scrap steel we had lying around and a gate hinge from the builders providers which cost a tenner, putting the total build cost of this mast at 185 quid, saving over 200 quid on a ready-made equivalent. For the wiring we're using 6mm squared T and E which stands for twin and earth. Basically it's got a live, a neutral and an earth all in the one insulation making it perfect for the three phases of the AC generator. We got this from Screwfix, which is the cheapest we could find, at 86 quid for a 25 metre roll. Now if you wanted to go bigger, you could buy the 10 mil squared wiring, which cost 136 quid for the 25 metre roll. It's completely up to you. finished attaching the guide wires. Now how you know what length of a guide wire you're going to need is to use Pythagoras' theorem. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. I know it's probably the only time in life you will. Basically you measure the distance from the mast out to your anchor point on the ground. You square that. Then you measure from the base of the mast up to your anchor point on it. You square that. You add the two together and that gives you your answer. C squared. Now C squared you're going to have to find the square root of that and that tells you the length of your angle, or how long of a guide wire you'll need. Simples. To make the winch for lifting up the tower, it's very simple. You get an old car wheel bearing like this, that you can attach directly to, to the wall through these holes here. You get the matching brake disc to go with it. Sit them down just like that. Now you cut out a sheet of plastic, piece of scrap steel, and this handle here, the handle is just a ram cut out of an old shock absorber and you simply just attach them together like that Okay, we're going to pull it up there now and Chloe is going to man a safety rope on the other side, just for safety's sake. So let's see what happens. Okay, let's go. No, I'm pulling myself. Oh! Jesus Christ! Oh, that was a disaster. I'm absolutely gutted about that. It wasn't close fault either, you know. We might need an extra pair of hands actually getting it up there. I'm gonna have to get a few more pairs of hands lifting it up. We've ordered five more blades anyway, so hopefully they'll be here pretty quick. And we're going to shorten the mast. Yeah, I think we'll shorten up that mast a bit, take a meter off it. That'll save a few kilos and bring the uh, the heavy point a bit closer to the winch point. But, uh, so folks, there you go. Bit of a disaster. Pretty gutted over that, but look, this is. Uh, this is what happens, you know, we're lucky nobody was hurt and it was only one blade that was broken. Ultimately, I think the mast is too heavy. I'm going to shorten it by a metre, which will save about nine kilos off the weight and bring the, bring the heavy spot a bit closer to the winch point. The winch needs a longer handle and the cables could probably be set up better, more balanced pull to, uh, to stop that twist as we're lifting. We also need more people to help pull it up. Um, so I hope you found this video inspirational. Hope you can learn from it and uh, see what not to do. 
until next week, please do subscribe, give the video an old like, and uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Y'all take care out there.